Got caught with a good right hand there. But look at that hook, that countering hook. Round number four for the scheduled six. And Trevor, I guess that, um, you know, looking at his ring craft, you'd hope that he's also mentoring young fighters because, there's, as we've mentioned, no substitute for his, for his experience. And hopefully he'll be able to pass that on to a younger generation of fighters. Oh, totally. And, and I think his style of fighting is, is such such a really good style for younger fighters to, to learn about. Yeah, I So, agree you know, too. I think it's a good... You know, he's definitely um, will be making a huge contribution to, to boxing in New Zealand and, and to um, fighters in Samoa in terms of providing that level of inspiration. But, you know, even at 44, who around can, could beat him? I mean, seriously, I mean, he could fight the best in, in Australia in this, in this weight. He's, he's obviously in really good condition. Oh. A lot of you guys who've been in the fight game, um, you know, both you guys keep yourself in the neck. I suppose it becomes just something about you, you know, the way that you conduct your life. True, too, but, you know, we're not competing at 44, and very few guys are. I mean, you've got your Bernard Hopkins, and, you know, then you run out of, and, you know, George Foreman won a world title at 45. But I'll tell you what, they're few and far between that can do what this man's doing at 44. He's phenomenal. But no doing, it, doing it at 44 and, and doing it at this weight. And doing, doing, it at, doing it at this weight yeah. means that he's he's still got to have the speed. He yep. needs the, the combination of the speed and the power to be able to hold his own. And, I mean, he's certainly taking the fight. Oh, just doing it easy, I think. You know, but, and as I said, Kashif Mumtaz has been in the in the ring with some of the best in, in Australia. And, you know, like guys like Lee Sherrington, for, for, you know, beating the national opponents as well. Um, so he's got a, he is the amazing Marcelino Masoi. I've heard heaps about him. First time I've ever seen him. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. A minute to go, his legs wobble. Is he going to nail him again? He's on the bike. That left hook is really doing the damage. Isn't it? And it's crisp. It's been a really impressive show here from Marsoy. We've been singing his praises, no doubt. You two have witnessed, oh, a, you know, a master of his craft. He's a master, all right? Super middle. Oh, that's, that's it. it. That's Unbelievable. It. Great combination. One, two, three. Time to stop it, I reckon. Yep, stay down. No, nah, stop the fight. Stop it. Yeah, he stopped well it. Great well decision. done. John Gallagher does the right thing here. Montez is... Look, he can't right. even stand for it. Good on you, John Gallagher. Unbelievable. Marcelino Marsoy. Oh. Speed and power. I can't wait to see that combination back on the replay. Unbelievable. He just bided his time, Trevi. He just knew he could do it. That is world class plus. Here we go. Bang. Whack. What a combination. What a class act. And you've been able to watch the experience of Masalino Masu here on Māori television. Stay with us. Kashif Mumtaz is recovering, but the crowd are ecstatic. They have seen a master class of boxing skill. And we'll be back with the results and the wash-up of that bout right next here on Māori television. Welcome back. We've been treated to a real class act in um, Marcelino Masoy. A gutsy performance too from his opponent, uh, his opponent Mumtaz, but he just wasn't in the same league. No, no. Kashif Mumtaz wasn't in the same league. Even though he's been in the ring with some of the best fighters over in Australia and gone the distance with, with them, I've never seen him knocked out like that. This man, Marcelino Masoy, that was a master class of, of professional boxing. He is a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, 2 minutes 48 seconds into round 4. Winner by knockout, the amazing one, Marcelino Massoui.